Hello everybody. Today we have Maverick with me. And we have something really special. Bam! <laughs> He's so excited. Eh? So uh, in this episode of Info Unboxers, we unbox this black box from YouTube. I wonder what it could be. I wonder. Eh? Presented to Eatbook for passing 100,000 subscribers. How is it different from the TSL one? Eh? Okay, wait, that, but theirs is a legit like plug. Oh. <laughs> you know, uh, what's our next aim is Zula getting this as well. Oh, yeah. So, subscribe to them. Check out their channel. Later. We will put this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. 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 <laughs> I need to do my intro, get out. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to another episode of Ebook Versus. CNY is around the corner and the producer has challenged me to go up against Bakwa. And the brand that we are gonna be versusing is Lim Chi Kwan. I'm not sure if a lot of people are familiar with this brand, but one fun fact about Lim Chi Kwan this year is that they do not sell Bakwa at their physical store. Everything can be found online. This is because you know they want to prevent overcrowding during Chinese New Year and you know, COVID. So it's just to make sure everybody plays their part, stay at home and still get their bakwa. So Ting, are you confident with this challenge? Not confident at all, but we're gonna try and see if you can actually make bakwa at home. Let's go! Alright, so these are the ingredients we need for our bakwa. Sugar, honey, rice wine, oyster sauce, char siu sauce, oil, fish sauce, Sesame oil, white pepper, and salt. And for the start of the show, the minced pork. So for the minced pork, right, we're gonna use 70% lean meat and 30% fat because we want the juiciness, you know, in between our meat. As complicated as bakwa might seem to be, it's actually not complicated, you know. It's actually pretty easy. It's just, there's a lot of waiting time. There's a lot of waiting time for the marinade, there's a waiting time for the baking. But, now right, all we need to do is just put everything in a bowl and mix it. That's it. We're gonna mix it evenly, make sure all the sauce is well combined before we add the meat in. Once combined, let's set it aside. And, we'll move on to our meat. But, our pork fat is not minced at all. So, I'm gonna mince it now. Manually. <gasps> Same! <laughs> what did you do? Oh my god, I made holes on the chopping board! No, look at this! So I'm not doing it right lah. Okay, change of plans. So you're gonna use our food processor. So let's just scoop it in. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is mix everything together Then we add our sauce And we're going to mix it for around 5 to 8 minutes Once done, what we're going to do is We're going to clean wrap it And then put it in the fridge for at least 1 hour If you have the time, it's good to marinate it overnight If not, longer than 1 hour is best So that the flavour is absorbed into the meat So it has been an hour And we have taken our marinated minced meat out but before we proceed, what we're going to do is preheat the oven at 130 degrees Celsius. I have a tip. So I read online that you can actually make the shape of your bakwa using a Ziploc bag. So we're going to try half the portion first. See if this hack works. Food hacks. And we are done, okay? So, this is the part where I'm very scared. Just debunking the hack lah. To tell you if it works. If it works, then you try. If it doesn't work, then don't try. <laughs> Not the real test. Not the real test. There's too many steps to this. Wow. Alright, time for the review. Ooh. Honestly, it's not that bad. Look at it. And it fits my tray. Not perfectly. <laughs> I have to trim it now. Okay, I guess it works for pens that are bigger. So maybe you can measure your Ziploc bag 
according to your pan size before rolling it out so that it's easier. And then we're gonna put it in the oven and bake it for 30 minutes. So we'll see you in a bit. A little longer than a few minutes later. It has beeped and 30 minutes in the up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Not too bad, not too bad. Now we're gonna flip it and then bake it for another 15 minutes at 130 degrees. So it has beeped. We're gonna take it out from the oven. Before we continue, we're gonna preheat the oven at 205 degrees because we're gonna blast the top after coating it with honey so that you get the char that the bakwa has. Firstly, let's cut it into quarter pieces. Take honey and then glaze a very thin layer on top. So once you're done glazing it with honey on the top, you're gonna pop it into the oven for 5 minutes at 205 degrees on the top rack so that it'll blast and then you'll have this char on top. And then you're gonna repeat the process for one more time after flipping the bakwa. Holy! Holy moly! Holy shit! This looks legit! <laughs> but the taste though, we don't know. <laughs> wow! I don't know man. It looks really nice, but the smell... It smells a bit like chassis. More than bakwa. Okay, now it's the tear test. Wow! Okay, I'm gonna try now. But this is good eh. I mean, it's very tender. It's not very dry. I think the amount of fats we added in is just nice. But if you prefer something tougher, has a more have more like bite to it, you can add lesser fats. Yeah. There's a balance between the savory and the sweetness. So it's not something that you eat a while, then after that you feel very jealous. So now we are done with making our own bakwa and we're gonna Bring it to the taste test! Fight! Do you like bakwa? Oh yes, I love! They always say like it's one of the most sinful CNY snacks but I don't care, it's just too good. Yes, bakwa is my favourite Chinese New Year snack. Like there was once where I had to fly off to Japan after reunion dinner you know what snack I brought on the plane? One kilogram of bakwa. During Chinese New Year, right, I, I will always eat the bakwa that my grandparents buy. Then after that, leftover, right, cut ready, put between two bread and then just eat. Wow. Delicious. That's a combi that our viewers can try. Yeah. Bread, um, bakwa. <laughs> I think a bakwa needs to have that very nice char. Correct? You see, when you buy the bakwa, it's not like one colour. You see the small black bits, right? That's what you need. I don't want it to be very thin and you know when, when you bite into it right, I want it to be a bit like got the chewiness. I prefer it when it's not so sweet. Okay. Yeah, like when the bakwa taste, the pork taste is more pronounced. Today's episode yes. will be Eat Book versus Lin Chi Guan. <laughs> what, what is Lin Chi Guan? I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, hey, this one is the Chinatown one right? It's the one that always got long queue, you know, like... Yeah. Honestly, I haven't tried, but like, the fact that it's the Chinese name and the three word kind of means probably good lah. Okay, it is extremely oily to the point where it's like, slippery. <laughs> I think thickness-wise, right, it's a bit too thin for me. Okay, right off the bat, this one feels a little bit oilier than, than this one. This one, when you break it, right, it will like, boom, it will break apart. But this one got more flexibility, you see? I think there's an iconic very like, bakwa smell whenever you walk past like a shop selling bakwa, it smells like this. It's got a very subtle like chasu smell. It does smell a little bit more like xiang chang. Ah, like Taiwan xiang chang. I feel like what's lacking in this one right is the cha the cha smell. I cannot smell the cha. What the <laughs> 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 Definitely sweet, sticky, very very like classic bakwa taste. It's not like very flaky that when you bite, it's not like everything breaks apart. This one still got the chunks of meat. I feel like the first bit I bite into got a bit of the, like a bit of char. 
Let me try this Lap Cheong smelling one. <laughs> it tastes like Lap Cheong. <laughs> you know, it tastes more like Lap Cheong. It's not bad, but I feel like the difference is quite significant. Lah. It has a bit of a tanginess and the smell then when you try it right, it's the same. It's the same thing. What you smell is what you get. I don't taste the the smoky flavour as much. If this is the homemade one, I would say that I'm very impressed because I thought that the homemade one would like crumble and disintegrate, but then it actually holds very well. Mm. But I think the biggest difference here is that this one is really much more tender than the previous one. Like the previous one, I can still taste like hard, hard bits, you know. But this one is like soft all the way. Oh my god! Uh, which do you prefer? This one. Wow, honestly, right, they both have their merits. But if I had to pick one, I pick this one. The, this one is what I prefer. <laughs> I prefer the first one. Oh my god, no shade, but I prefer the right one. This one! Open to reveal. Yeah, that's good because I always never choose Ibu one. Eh. Open to reveal! Ibu <gasps> <What's Ibu? laughs> Oh my god, I knew it! <laughs> hey, both look really normal. Yeah, I thought, I thought the homemade one was going to look freaky. Okay, okay, from the looks of it, right, it's not, it's honestly not that bad. I was surprised that y'all could even make a replicate. Not that I, not that I don't think y'all can do it, but it is an amazing effort, okay? The only difference is the meat. So, wow. If y'all can correct that, right, next time y'all can sell, sell to, sell to the public already. So, did I lose badly? I wouldn't say bad. Oh! Okay. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Are you ready for the results? No. <laughs> if I'm not ready, don't tell me. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> no, tell me, tell me, tell me. <laughs> we got one out of <laughs> I'm like not surprised, but I expected maybe like a little bit more. <laughs> I I kind of expect this result comparing to bakwa that was grilled over charcoal. Ours was grilled in an oven. The char taste you won't have it. I think the bakwa we made is more towards the sweet and savory side. You know, it's kind of like a healthier version. So we kind of cut down the sugar. But if you guys are more comfortable with sweeter bakwas. Feel free to add more sugar. So now that you've tried making your own bakwa, would you make your own bakwa again? No! <laughs> no, no, no! <laughs> it's impossible to replicate the many, many years that... How many years this chicken is around? 80 years, you know? You cannot replicate this 80 years experience. If you are looking for ways to save money, at the same time, still get bakwa out, I think this is something you can try Something new y'all can try this year. It's not hard to make, but it's hard to ace. Who makes bakwa from scratch? <laughs> this year it will be you. Make it and then you can just tag us on Instagram and tell us if it works. Cross fingers for you. <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode of Ebook Buses. If you like this video, don't forget to watch more over there. And remember to like, share, subscribe. Bye! 新年快乐